We're going to look at sample spaces, which is the day for this unit. And obviously, if I'm talking about sample spaces, it's probably this blank right here. A sample space is a collection of all possible outcomes of an event or experiment. So flipping a coin one time is one event. All right. The coin is going to land either on heads or tails. So the two outcomes are heads or tails. That's how you write a sample space, by the way. We tend to have the brackets, um, and then we have the symbols for each of the outcomes. Since there is only one experiment, uh, I actually prefer the word event. This is a simple event. And on this next bit, I give you the chance to write your own answer. Now we're going to look through each of these examples and determine how many events occurred. All right. And determine this. Rolling a fair die one time. Well, that would be one event. You can see one of the outcomes is a six. But that's not the only outcome. There's four. And you played with die. You know what all they all are. So I'll write open bracket one, two, three. We separate our outcomes with commas. Flipping a coin, just like I said earlier, that's one event. In fact, it says so up near the top there. And the sample space we already wrote was heads or tails. Spinning the spinner at right. Well, I'm a little lazy. I don't feel like I'll just write B for green, W for white, and R for red. If they had this, uh, two had the same initial, I could like do two letters. But um, I prefer the caps again for my sample spaces, so I'll say it's yellow blue, green, white, and red. Oh, I better put commas between these. By the way, if you're doing a web assign assignment um, and you don't have a space between your commas, it tends to freak out. Okay, and this is also one of them. How about the sum of the rolls of two die? All right, so you one, two through six. And the table's a great way to organize these. So I'll call this column die 1 and this is die 2. So here that means I would have rolled a 1 and then a 1. And here this would have meant I would have rolled a 1 and then a 2, 2 then a 1. But that's not what I'm really interested in. I'm not interested in the individual outcomes. I'm The final outcome for me is the sum. So I can actually add these. 2, 3, this one's three. And just keep going on. Now, how many outcomes are there here? There are 36 outcomes, right? But some of them have the same end result. All right? So I can actually list just the different outcomes, which usually we like to do. It's hard for me to do just the different ones on these, like multi heads and stuff like that. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, which is 11 different outcomes. There are 36 total outcomes in this table, and that's very important to remember later when we're studying, studying probability because that's going to come into play. All right? So that thir yes, there are 36 total outcomes here, but only 11 of them are unique, different. All right. Um, so we call this a compound event when we have or more events. I don't like the word experiments because it's a little fuzzy. There's also trials. I could have used that. I prefer event because it keeps it real simple.